are testing out another TikTok makeup life hack. I actually saw this really cool hack the other day. What I saw them doing is taking bar soap, shaving it down, putting it in a glass container, melting it, and creating makeup brush. And I think you can wash beauty blenders like this as well with the solid brush cleanser soap. So this TikTok looked really fun and easy and I actually thought it would be the perfect one to test out right now with everything that is going on. I feel like maybe all of us need to do a little bit more DIYs. Like maybe we don't have everything we need at home so we've got to be resourceful and make things. You guys probably have all of these things at home already if you want to follow along. So the first thing you need is a clear jar container. You have to pour boiling water in it so I think it does have to be glass. I got these little ball jars on Amazon. I think it was like eight dollars for a pack of four of them. You're also gonna need a cheese grater and I have this cute one that looks like a sword. And then the last couple things you're gonna need is literally bar soap and uh, boiling water. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and wipe the inside of the container with one of my little 70% alcohol wipes. 70% is the amount of alcohol I believe that they say is optimum for being sanitary and stuff. Um, I did already wash this with soap and water, but since it's a cosmetic item that I'm gonna be using for makeup things, you guys know me, I'm, I'm just always cautious with the cleanness. And then the next thing I'm gonna do to make sure everything is nice and dry in there is to spray it with 99% alcohol. Does dry really fast, so you know, I just always generally spritz what I'm working on uh, just to kind of be as clean as possible but also like not leave behind any moisture that could mildew and stuff like that. I thought that this would be really fun to use some of my Lush soap. Lush is, you know, all natural. It always smells really good. And I thought that it would just make a really fun colored soap. So I'm trying to remember what the heck this soap is called. It is the Shark Fin soap. You guys remember this one? It comes out once a year and it supports not killing sharks which is a good thing. So the only reason you're shaving it is to get it to fit inside this jar. Now I'm just wondering why you couldn't just clean it with this bar of soap. Is this one of those pointless life hacks that I'm only realizing how pointless it is now that I'm like knee deep into actually doing it? I mean, I guess the reason that they shave it down and put it in a container like this is because you can reseal it, which obviously makes it more sanitary and clean than just using a bar soap like this, unless, I don't know, maybe you have a soap tin. I don't know your life. Do you have a soap tin? If you do, do, let me know. Let's get to shaving. I am very excited about this because I wonder like in the actual TikTok video, maybe I can just insert a picture. It looks like the soap just shaves like so easily and I'm like is that really is that really the life experience I'm about to have? Because a couple summers ago I tried to do that soap stuff that everybody makes it look so easy on Instagram like the soap ASMR where you make the soap curls and then you crumble them. That stuff is ridiculously hard. I worked on that video for like 12 hours and I still I you guys never saw that video because it didn't work out. Come down to the soap shaving zone. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this guy a little spritz as well. Can you guys see what I'm doing? No, I'm using the wrong damn side. I don't know how a cheese grater works. I feel like I need to like flip the bar around because I don't know if you saw like at the bottom, there's all this, I think it's like seaweed. This is looking promising here. This is the worst footage I've ever tried to capture in my life. I've been doing this for only two minutes and we have that much, but it's gonna take a lot to fill this up. We haven't used too much of the soap so far. I'm gonna try and like lift it up. Let me try and zoom you guys out. My filming room is so messy right now, so just pretend like you don't see all this stuff. But I think if I go like this, I'm gonna be able to do it faster and there won't be all that terrible clanking noise. Look at all of that. All the crumblies in there. Ooh, this soap smells so good. I'm gonna pull the shark fin out. No, I'm not, it's stuck there. Okay, hopefully I'll just be able to like zoom in with editing or something. 
I cannot get the camera angle right. I did see them like mash it down from time to time so that you could really just like pack a lot of soap in there. Just shaving my soap. Just shaving my soap. The seaweed side, I think it would be effective exfoliant for the brush fibers. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some more of those nice seaweed shavings in there. Ew. Ew, that looks so gross, all shaved up, right? Or am I being dramatic? I think I've only been doing this for probably about six or seven minutes total. We're really going through our bar of soap now. Actually, it still looks like we have quite a bit left. So I'm kind of alternating between just the plain soapy side and the seaweed side. I was gonna try and fit the whole bar in here, but that looks pretty full. I wonder how much it's going to condense once we pour the boor boiling, boiling water over it. I think now I'm spilling more than I'm saving. So I'm gonna go ahead and mash it down just a little bit more. But right now it does look full to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get the boiling water. And then that is all you have to do is pour the boiling, boor I cannot say boiling. I keep wanting to say boiling. You gotta pour the boiling water over it. And uh, then the next step is the freezer overnight to let it harden. You guys see the smoke, smoky water. Place your bets now. Is it gonna melt down? with the boiling water. Oh my God, I'm spilling this everywhere. Okay, this, this is not what TikTok promised me. Did I add too much water? It's fizzing a little. I'm trying to pick it up, but it is so hot. It's definitely still steaming. Oh, look at that. It's like all the seaweed just settled into one area. I think this is gonna look so interesting by tomorrow. Put some of these soap shavings in there Will it just melt? Oh my gosh, they are like melting on contact. Why am I so fascinated by soap? Maybe it's sinking to the bottom. I thought it was melting. <laughs> Maybe it's sinking. I'm gonna seal it up to carry it downstairs so I don't like slosh soap all over the staircase. But in the video, they leave the lid off. Maybe that helps it to freeze and cool a little bit faster. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's the next day. Welcome to my extremely messy laundry room right now. And I think I used lamps in this room last time. So the lighting is probably very crappy as well. And for that, I'm sorry, but I don't know why I doubted if this process would actually work or not, but I am somehow like extra surprised at how cool this is turning out. So this is our magical homemade brush soap. It's so cold right now. I have left it in the freezer this entire time. So it's basically been sitting there for roughly 24 hours. It feels like a popsicle right now, literally. I took a little peek last night about an hour after I had set it in the freezer and it already looked completely solid and frozen. So if you wanna make this at home, I definitely don't even think you have to wait 24 hours or even like five hours or six hours before it completely sets and is ready to use. It looks amazing. It looks just like it did in the TikTok and I don't see why it wouldn't work, but we're about to test it out on some dirty, dirty brushes. The interesting thing is it doesn't really so much look like the original soap anymore. I'm gonna insert a clip now of the original Lush soap and then this. It also looks like all the seaweed stuff, once again, sunk to the bottom, the same as the bar soap. Maybe I could shave the rest of the soap, like do it in layers, you know, if you wanted to put some exfoliants in it and like shave the soap, boil it, put it in the freezer, let it settle. You guys know what I mean? This is the first brush I'm gonna try. It's a nice little angle brush and I use this today to apply my contour. Just got the top of the soap wet. Let's do a nice little lather. Oh look, can you guys see the makeup slop? It definitely feels like it is getting the job done. Kind of vigorously rubbing here. Probably a little bit more than necessary, honestly, but I'm trying to see if I can get a nice lather. Hopefully you guys can see there is some discoloration on top, like it's getting the makeup out. Normally my soap of choice is the Beauty Blender 
cleanser solid. It comes with this nice little exfoliator pad. So once you cover your brush in soap, you can use this to really deep clean. It has like little bumps on it. I'm sure you guys can see. So this is what I normally do. And then just periodically run it under the water to remove all the suds and the grime and everything. It looks like it really rinses out really cleanly because, you know, normally I have to run it under the water a couple of times before it will stop bubbling. The bristles definitely look clean. And, you know, now, of course, I would move on to like other forms of sanitization and stuff. So this is just kind of like my very first step. But so far, so good. Very impressed. Let's go ahead and do this little eye brush I use today next. Just use the exact same process. I really try and lather up as much as possible. Make sure I coat all the bristles with soap. I'm sure if you don't already have like the solid beauty blender soap, you could probably order one of these little brush cleaning exfoliating pads on Amazon. Look at that. So nice and clean. I feel like this has been the greatest, best TikTok life hack we've ever tried. I am actually going to use what I made today. It's genuinely helpful, practical. It does really work. It's not just a scam. I feel like a lot of the other TikTok life hacks that I've seen or that I've brought to this channel and tried, they are just kind of a hot mess. Let me know if you guys are gonna test this out and uh, try it at home. Now, if only we could figure out a way Way to make a homemade brush exfoliator, that little pink thing that I showed you guys, we would really be in business. I don't really feel like that's 100% necessary, like you have to have that to wash your brushes, but I feel like it does make things cleaner in my mind and it also seems to speed up the process for really like getting the soap out of the bristles. Like I said, this is just like step one for me of my complete brush cleaning, washing, and sanitization process. I kind of have a Mr. Toad's wild ride of uh, brush cleaning techniques, but for me this would be a really great step one. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching. If y'all see another TikTok life hack that you would like for me to test out, tag me in it somewhere on the internet. I'll see it. I'll try it. We'll test it out here together. And I almost said find out if this thing really works or not. Wrong type of video. Anyway, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!